So we're back at it with another movie review. Just saw King Richard um, in the theaters. Got an early screening. And here to give my review on it. First thoughts, overall thoughts. I loved it. Um, I don't have Annabelle here to guide me through the navigation of the film. <coughs> Excuse me. But it starred Will Smith, um, Andre New Ellis, uh, Sanaya Sidney, and Demi... I don't remember her last name, but they were Venus and Serena, the sisters. The overall theme that I could get from the movie was family. Like, it was a beautiful representation of family, and I don't know, like, how accurate that was. I feel like it sh is pretty accurate just based on what Serena and uh, Venus have portrayed and then them being on the red carpet, and I believe they were producers on the movie as well. It opens up with Will Smith... Richard um, walking around to all these different tennis clubs and coaches, I guess, um, you know, handing them a brochure of his daughters and, you know, what they can do and just his outline and his plan for them. Um, and throughout the whole movie as well, just the dedication and the hard work and the plan that he had for his children that he wanted to execute. Like, you can't and you don't get far in life unless you have someone who's backing you up or, or unless you yourself put in the effort and like relentlessly go for what you want. And that was pretty cool just to see that throughout the movie as well. Um, how much parents in general sacrifice for their kids and they were both coaching Venus and Serena. Um, there was a good juxtaposition when at the beginning when only one coach would coach them for free. He was coaching Venus and Serena was taking lessons from their mom. But just the dedication that, that Venus and Serena both had and the mom and dad both had for this combined dream. Also, one thing throughout this movie um, that Richard like drilled into his daughters was just like the positive mindset of a champion. This is what Marisa wrote down. My other sister um, in the theater she wrote down was just how he drilled into them that they always need to have just a positive mindset. Um, if they lose, that's okay. Just get back up and keep working at it. Don't hang your head, but also don't be boastful or brag, you know, after you've won a tournament or something. Um, he really, I guess, taught his girls how to humble themselves, um, which, I mean, you can see that on the court and just in Venus and Serena's lives that we see in the media and all that. Um, that from a young age, which I didn't know how young they were, right? 14 and 15, or I don't know how old Serena was, but Venus was 14 years old when she went to her first professional tournament, um, or 15. Maybe she was 15. You don't have a long career unless you are humble, unless you have a positive mindset and you have other things rounding you out aside from you know, your sport or your passion or what you're known for, right? Um, since they were kids, now they're like 40 and 41. It's wild. This movie overall was very uplifting. There were some moments that were like real shocking, which when you watch the movie, you'll be like, oh, maybe you won't be like that. But it, it overall, the theme throughout was very uplifting and very positive mindset. But there was one point where the mom and dad like had a a long lengthy argument where they were fighting and stuff but it was very well acted um it was very well directed it was very well wit very well written um the argument that they had very real um and honest and it was just a beautiful a beautiful fight between two grown-ups and two parents talking about how much they've put in to make their children's dreams or Richard's dreams come true um, so I really like that was one of the things that stood out to me. Um, and then Marisa also said, she said um, that Richard was more concerned with his child being like his children being children as he was to them being pro athletes. Like he wanted them to have child experiences like um, in the movie, they went away from tournaments and junior tournaments for like three years, I think. Um, all that time they're, you know, I guess growing their other interests or their other um talents so they would be real well-rounded individuals like it wasn't all it was all about tennis but he wanted them to have other stuff that they could value in themselves aside from tennis which was very very cool to see and if that is true and I mean I, I guess it is true um 
kudos to them for him understanding that it was going to be more than tennis. Overall thoughts, I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. The, the I'm telling you, the sisters, like, the family bond was just beautiful to watch. Um, the dedication, the girls... A very, very good movie. Like, if you want something to feel good, because we all know, right? Like, there's some moments in there, like, in tournaments and games, you're like, oh, no, you know, what's going to happen? But, like, we all know the end outcome. They're, like, the greatest of all time. Our audience was very engaged. Like, we were laughing. We were clapping, crying, singing. Um, Richard, I don't know if they meant to make Richard funny or if it was just how Will Smith portrayed Richard, but, like, we were laughing at stuff that he said, the mom, um, like, the stuff that she was saying, clapping and cheering for her. So we were cheering for Venus when she was winning all, you know, winning her tournaments. So a very engaging film. Um, I highly recommend you go see it. Um, it's not like 100% feel good, right? Because there are some pits and valleys, like any good movie that's well written, well directed, um, and well acted. So go out and see it. It comes out November 19th. So make sure you go support everybody and Beyonce has a song in it.